Yeah, we have the unit group of uh, seeking the vex times uh, dividing by 5 minus 4 tangent of vex. Secant of x is 1 over cosine of x. 5 minus 4 tangent of x will be 5 minus 4 sine of x over cosine of x. Multiply the top and the bottom by cosine of x. We get 1. 5 times cosine of x is 5 cosine of x. And then 4 sine of x, cosine of x times sine of x is 4 sine of x. And now let's rewrite this in terms of tangent. 5 cosine of x uh, minus 4 sine of x will be 5 times 1 minus tangent squared of x over 2 dividing by secant squared of x over 2. This is what cosine of x is from trigonometry identities. Sine of x is 2 tangent of x over 2 dividing by secant squared of x over 2. Here we have the common denominator is secant squared of x over 2. On the top here we get 5 minus 5 tangent square of x over 2. And then minus 4 times 2 is 8 tangent of x over 2. And so secant of x divided by 5 minus 4 tangent of x is 1 over 5 cosine of x minus 4 sine of x. But this is 5 cosine of x minus 4 sine of x. And so it'd be uh, so 1 over 5 cosine of x minus 4 sine of x be just the reciprocal of this. So we turn it upside down. And then the bottom here we can write it as this. Just um, factor out the negative one. So it would be negative times 5 tangent square of x over 2 plus a tangent of x over 2 plus and now let u be tangent of x over 2, du dx will be secant square of x over 2 times the derivative of x over 2. x over 2 is the same as 1 half times x, and so the derivative be 1 half times secant square of x over 2. And then we have du will be 1 half times secant squared of x over 2 dx. Multiply both sides by 2, we get 2 du will be secant squared of x over 2 dx. And so the integral of this expression Secant square x over 2 dx, that's 2 du. This will be negative, and we move it and place it in front of the integral. And this is 5u square. This will be 8u and minus 5. And then we can move the 2 to the front also, which gives us minus 2. And now we need to do completing the square, 5u square plus au minus 5. 
the first two terms here, factor out the phi, and we get phi times u squared plus a fifth a over phi u and minus phi. Half, one half times eight fifths is 16 over 25. One half, let me say that again, one half times eight over five is four fifths, four over five. And then four over five squared is 16 over 25. So we uh, add 16 over 25 minus 16 over 25. So 1 half times A over 5 is 4 over 5. And then 4 over 5 square is 16 over 25. And so now we can separate this. This is 5 times this, uh, the first three terms here and then minus 5 times 16 over 25. This is the factors here, are u plus 4 over 5 times u plus 4 over 5. And so we write it as u plus 4 over 5 squared. All of this is minus 41 over 5. And so this integral becomes negative 2 times the integral of 1 over 5 times u plus 4 fifths square minus 41 over 5. And now we want this to be in the form of 1 over uh, u square uh, minus a square. So let's factor out the 5. So this down here, this is the same as 5 times u plus 4 over 5 square minus 41 over 25. You know, this is the form of 1 over u square minus a square. And for this integral right here, we can let e z square be u plus 4 over 5 square. And then a square is 41 over 25. It's so over right here. A is um, the square root of 41 over, 40, over 25. which is the square root of 41 over 5. And uh, recall that the derivative of negative 1 over 2a times the natural log of a plus z over a minus z is 1 over z squared minus a squared. And so the entire derivative of 1 over z squared minus a squared is negative 1 over 2a times the natural log of b plus z dividing by a minus z. So in this case, z will be um, uh, u plus 4 fifths, and then a will be the square root of 41 over 5. And this is what we have right here. Negative two fifths times one half is five. One over five. Negative times negative is positive. And then in the place of A, we have the square root of 41 over 25. In the place of Z, we have u plus 4 fifths. And then uh, this right here becomes 1 over the square root of 41. 
and in times all of this, and this is the answer, 